Hello, welcome, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda. I'm surprised. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful sweater for your dog. Well, I don't know if you have watched the movie The Lady and the Tramp. Well, one of the characters is wearing this beautiful sweater and I didn't doubt to make it for you. The name of the character is Jock. So today we are going to take as an inspiration the outfit that he is wearing in the movie and today Bodas is going to wear it for him, okay? So first I will give you the material list and then the step by step. I hope that you make it and I will show you how you can make it for your dog in different sizes, okay? So let's start. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and I forget to tell you that this will be the first part of the sweater. In the coming video, I will give you the second part. So please stay tuned. Now let's start. Look, here I have the picture where Jock is wearing this beautiful sweater. As you could see, we make a strip with granny squares and it goes all around Jock's body. But well, like today I'm making this sweater for Bodas and he's a small size. Well, I'm going to make three squares and three squares for the long. For your dog, you have to measure from the neck to before the tail, almost at the beginning of the hind legs, you see? And later, using our needles, I'm going to show you how we are going to make the elastic from here to the neck, you see? And also I will show you how you can make it according to the size of your dog. At the end we are going to make the legs and also the neck and we are going to use a different stitch. But well, it's very important that you take the measurements of your dog, okay? You are going to make as many squares as you need from the neck to before the tail, okay? So you are going to make the number of squares that you need and also the number of squares that you need that goes all around the body of your dog. You can make like these squares or you can make the squares with more rows. In this case, and for bodas, I'm going to make two rows and then I will join it with single crochet. But well, I want to start because once I start, I know that I will tell you more things. So let's turn loose more time and let's enjoy making this beautiful sweater for your dog. I'm loving it so far. Hope you too. Hmm. Well, for this sweater, for bodas in small size, and for this sweater, now winter is right in the corner, so 200 grams, one in one color and one in plain color. I'm going to use this bulky material, waiter number five, hook three and a half, and a pair of needles, five or six. Remember, this material is for a small size. This is for bodas. So, let's start. I will give you a step by step now. Well, we will start with the squares. With one thread and with our hook, I'm going to use the yarn that has different colors and shades of orange, beige, brown. I'm going to start making five chains. I'm going to slip one to close. Then we will go up with three chains. I'm making the granny square. I know that many of you already know how to make it. Well, well, let's review. Again, inside the ring, we are going to make a double crochet. Counting the chains that we made at the beginning, we are going to make three double crochet. Then, two chains, and again inside, three double crochet. While I make this, I'm going to take this thread too to hide it, while I make the double crochet. We are going to repeat this sequence four times to make the four corners of the square. So we are going to make two chains, then three double crochet, and we will finish making two chains. Well, let's continue like this until we have the four corners. At the end, we finish slipping one with two chains, you see? So now here we have the four corners. And this is the first part of the square. Start with the next row. I'm going to slip one until the first space, until the first corner. And right there, we are going to start. Once we are here, we are going to make the second row. We will go up with three chains one, two, and three. 
and well here in the, in the first space we are going to make three double crochet counting the chains then two chains and again in the corner in the same space we are going to make the next three double crochet this will happen always in the corners so we can keep with the shape and we can keep with the corners okay so remember this so we are going to make six double crochet in each space here here and always making two chains between a double crochet so like this is how we are going to continue until we complete the corners remember we have to make three double crochet two chains and three double crochet inside each space so see you at the end at the end i just slip one and then i close like i'm making this in a small size i'm going to make just a square with two rows but if you are going to make this sweater in a larger size well i suggest that you make the squares with three rows and the third row will be like this all the corners will go double and then where we have this space we are going to make single this means that just one section of three double crochet in this part and always making two chains between them remember we made the corners double to keep with the corners and the sides we are going to make it single I mean with three double crochets inside but well like we are making this in a small size we are just going to keep two rows we are going to cut and now with the plain color I'm going to use it to join it so first the first square we are going to make a single crochet all around the square this will happen only with the first square and here is where we will start so first we are going to take the loop and after this loop we are going to start counting okay we are going to make single crochet so here we have one and while we make this we are going to hide these threads that we have here okay so here we have one two and inside the corner to keep with the shape I'm going to make three so here we have one two and three okay then here where we have the double crochet we are going to make one two three then again here in this space two one two then here in the double crochet two and in the corner again three so remember always in the corner we are going to make three to keep with the shape so we here we are going to make one single crochet over double crochet so here we are going to make three okay and again in the corner three and like this the whole row okay we are going to follow the same instructions in all the sides so let's continue here to remember then three and in the corner again three this will be the first square that's why we completely close the row making single crochet with this plain color now we are going to make the second square exactly the same with the rows and then at the end we are with the plain color we are going to leave incomplete one side because we will use that side to join with the first square we are going to take the plain color and we are going to make a knot remember we are going to join one side while we crochet with the other square so here is where we are going to start we are going to take the loop and we will start with the stitch making single crochet and while we make this we are going to hide the threads you see how i hide it well now that we are going to arrive to the corner we are going to make one single crochet then we are going to take one a stitch from the other side also right in the corner and 
we are going to sleep. First we are going to insert, then we are going to sleep, and then we continue with the stitch. We are going to make the second single crochet. And then we will continue with the stitch, making one single crochet, two single crochet, and again when we arrive with the next space, we are going to make one single crochet inside the space and one inside the other side of the first corner. So we are going to insert a hook, we are going to slip one and we will come back to the second square to continue with the stitch. This is the second single crochet, we will continue with the stitch making single crochet in the side of the second square and then when we arrive to the corner we are going to make one and we will take one stitch of the corner of the first square we are going to slip and then we will come back to the second square to make the single crochet and like this is how we are going to join so you see now we are going to continue with the stitch until here then we are going to make other square and we will join like we made so look I already get ahead and I think these squares are perfect for the size of the dog I'm making this sweater for okay I'm going to fold it like this and then I'm going to join so this long goes from the neck to before the tail so you are going to make the number of squares that you need according to the size of your dog and you are going to join it like I show you I leave this corner free because I want to show you how I join here I'm going to join one corner then one side second corner one side and a third corner well before you join it's important that you see uh, the different colors that you make and you place them before you join them and if and to see if you like the combinations or not okay so once you place them and once you see that you like it now you are going to join as you see here in this corner I start with the stitch and then when I arrive to the corner I'm going to repeat I'm going to take one stitch from the last corner and one stitch from this square then I'm going to repeat single crochet then I'm going to continue with the stitch I'm going to complete the square then when I arrive to the next space of the first side also while I make this I'm hiding the threads you see so here I am going to make the first single crochet then I'm going to slip one with the other square and then I'm going to come back to the square to continue with the stitch then when I'm about to arrive to the next corner I'm going to make the first single crochet then I'm going to take right here the stitch I'm going to insert the hook right in the middle of the joint of the corners and, and then I'm going to continue with the stitch I'm going to complete the corner I'm going to continue making single crochet one two and three then the first single crochet of the side then one i'm going to insert the hook in the other side and slip one and then i'm going to come back to make single crochet yes right then i'm going to continue making single crochet i'm going to complete the square and then in the next corner Again, I'm going to make the first single crochet and then I'm going to come back and insert the hook right in the corner, slip one and then I will come back and complete the square with the stitch, making single crochet. And like this is how you joined the last square. Okay, I will show you this part with you so you can see exactly how it is. I hope that you are enjoying I'm loving it so far, I love the colors, also you can make a sweater using the same colors like this one and you can match with your dog, right? 
So I'm going to leave this square, this will be the back and this one side and then the second side. Now I'm going to show you how we are going to make the bottom. Well, I'm going to stop here. Uh, it's important that you hide this thread where the color goes so it can perfectly blend. If you don't have an embroidery needle, well, you can use your hook and hide it like this. If you have an embroidery needle, well, I always suggest that it's easier. So we finish. So this is the size of bodas. So and now we are going to fold it like this and we are going to make what the size that it's in the bottom. I'm going to use the needles to make it and I'm going to use one thread in a plain color. I'm going to use the same light beige. I'm going to take this square as a reference so I can make the bottom. I'm going to make this part a little bit loose so our dog can perfectly wear it but also not too much loose because while well, they walk or run or play their sweater can fold or they can damage so more or less okay so I'm going to take the square as a reference I'm going to make two rows more uh, of the square and then I'm going to um, finished okay so I'm going to take the square as a reference I'm going to make this part with the needles so this is how we cast on the stitches okay remember I'm taking the square as a reference according to the size of the dog I'm making this sweater for it's important that if you don't know and if you don't have the exact measurements well you make a sample with 15 stitches and then you continue with the stitch and you make like 15 rows so you can see exactly the, how many stitches you need if you need more or less and if the material will be enough so I always suggest to make a sample I'm going to continue and I will count them I have 20 stitches so I'm going to start I'm going to need one, I'm going to need two, and then I'm going to pour. When you pour, you put the thread in front, again I'm going to pour. So you see, I'm going to need two, and then I'm going to pour two. I'm making the elastic double. You see, again I'm going to need two, and then I'm going to pour two. And we are going to repeat this the whole row, okay? We are going to need two and now here I lost one stitch. And then I'm going to pour two, okay? So like this the whole row. Okay, for the second row, turn around and now we are going to make it as it goes, as we made in the last row. So if we need in the last row, we are going to need again. And if we pour, we are going to need again. You can see that we pour because we have this thread in front. So again, this means that we are going to pour again, pour. You see? And we are going to continue like this, making more rows until we get the long of the sweater that we want. Remember that we have to cover the bottom of our dog. It will go from the neck to before the tail until here, okay? Because later we will join it with this part. Look, I think that with these rows are enough, I make it a little bit loose. If you measure it from here to here are 18 centimeters, okay? This is for a small dog, remember. Okay, I told you wrong last time because we are going to move this part because here will go the hind legs, then here we will leave also a space for the front legs. So we are going to join only this part. And then we will join the rest like this until the half of the first square. You see? I will measure the part that I made with the squares. So you can take it as a reference to it measure 20 centimeters. And of width it measure 20 centimeters too. Okay, now we are going to then off all the stitches. I will show you how. And here we finish the first part of this sweater, okay? In the coming video, 
I will show you how we are going to sew, how we are going to join and how we are going to make the, the neck and the last details, okay? So please stay tuned. So like this is how we are going to pin off, you see? So well, I hope that you have enjoyed making this first part for your dog. So I give you homework and see you soon in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!